All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, day four going on here. Um, pretty simple and explanatory stuff today, so this video will not be very long. Uh, spot review today, running wild, and then the activity that goes with the article. Uh, your spot review is the seasons. We spent a ton of time on this in class. Uh, so I'm not going to go over this too much. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Remind uh, and go from there. Um, but here's your diagram. Remember, here's your sun. If you have to draw the arrows, um, do it. When it's at the top and bottom like this, it's not necessarily just hitting the bottom. Remember, it's hitting this whole side here. Um, and then on this side, it is hitting this whole other side you can't see. And then obviously here it's hitting the top. Um, so I know this diagram can get confusing sometimes because it looks like, oh, hey, it's just hitting the south, uh, the southern hemisphere here. Um, but that's not the case. Remember, this would be side by side. Um, the earth does not just get on top of the sun. Remember, they're side by side. This is a circle. Um, all right. So this uh, article is actually pretty cool. Um, this talks about invasive species, and invasive species can be uh, anything that doesn't naturally, isn't naturally found in that ecosystem. Um, so, for example, the front cover shows you a four-pound goldfish um, in Australia. They're not native to Australia, but they don't have a lot of predators there, um, so they thrive. Um, some of the other examples that go on are... Um, one of the big ones that you guys might actually have heard about before is uh, pythons being released in like Florida and places out there in the Everglades. They're not natural to Florida, so they don't have a lot of predators. They thrive out there um, and then they get to be huge and become problems. Um, so any sort of animal that gets to be put into an ecosystem that isn't naturally there um, kind of you know, gets a, a free start and uh, can grow and, and expand its population to more than what the ecosystem can handle. Um, so you get to the back here. Uh, this paragraph right here does a really good job of explaining what I was just talking about. Um, any little change can throw the whole balanced ecosystem out of whack. Um, and that includes if you just release like cat, dogs, birds, whatever it may be they will affect the ecosystem greatly. Um, so this uh, cause and effect sheet goes right with the story. Um, I'll do one of them with you, um, but most of this is pulled straight from the words, so it is not difficult at all to do. Um, I'm looking through here. So looking at number two, I know that's right at the bottom of my camera. Let me fold this here. I'm not pulling straight from the text. So this is in my own words. Um, I would like for you to pull from the text, show a little evidence. Uh, species are introduced to a place without predators, climate, or diseases that would normally limit their growth. So if we don't have anything that limits the growth, the species... will grow exponentially. I think I spelled that wrong. Um, exponentially and it will unbalance the ecosystem. Okay. Um, I know this is not from the text. This is just off the top of my head here. Um, so please at least provide some text evidence. Uh, I don't know if it actually says that. Okay. It doesn't, but provide at least one text evidence in these. Um, write that up here and then that way you know for sure that you are 
on the right course with where your answer needs to be. All right. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. Feel free to send me a remind. Um, other than that, hope everyone's doing well. And uh, we'll see you soon.